Happy Saturday, guys. This is the NHL Every Game on the Board video for Saturday, November 9th. I am Andrew from wagertalk.com, and I appreciate all the love all of you guys have been showing over the last few weeks to start off this NHL season. All the likes, all the comments, all the subscribers tuning in. We've had some good weeks. We've had some down weeks on these Saturday shows, but I'm trying to give you guys an idea of some plays that I like, and we're also trying to keep these close to 10 minutes or under uh, to just be very rapid fire with some of these predictions. A lot of games going on every Saturday. So we're trying to just buzz through these and uh, give out as many predictions as we possibly can in a very short time span. Of course, we do puck time throughout the week, but I want to get some content to you guys on the weekend as well. All right. Uh, before I jump into any promotional stuff, let's get right into the games. First game of the day, Flames, Sabres. Sabres, 10 goals allowed last, or 10 goals for them in the last two games. Flames, very inconsistent defensively, starting to show their true colors a little bit. We're going to go over six, Flames and Sabres. Game number two, Stars and Jets. At this point, guys, I cannot go against the Jets. You know, I understand there's probably some reasons where we should be trying to find some, some ways to look for some regression for them, to look for ways to go against them. But when I look at the last five straight wins that they have, it's been against every kind of opponent, high-scoring teams, low-scoring teams, good teams, bad teams, and this team still finds a way to get the job done. This is a team I don't want to go against right now. I do not want to go against. And the fact you're going to give me a minus 110 number on this Winnipeg team, I'll fall for it, guys. I'll take the good number. I'll take Winnipeg to get the job done. They're off a very low scoring victory over the Avalanche, uh, and they're just finding ways to win right now. All right, uh, quickly, guys, that promo code I got extended for one more day. That's Puck7. Puck seven, P U C K seven to get seven uh, days of NHL for forty nine dollars, seven dollars a day. Puck seven, use that at checkout at my homepage wt.buzz am, and you guys can get um, thirty dollars off a seven day NHL pass for forty nine bucks, seven dollars a day. Puck seven is a really good promo code to use there for all my plays today, tomorrow, the next day. Seven straight days of NHL action. All right, the next one, and guys, I don't really do this very often, but we have a plus one and a half opportunity here. Flyers, Panthers, okay? Um, not a huge fan of this always, but at minus 115, getting a great number here, getting a Flyers team playing very well, and you had the Panthers that had that long, long road trip that included a trip to Finland with a back-to-back -back situation. And uh, I think that um, this is kind of where the fatigue could step in because they played the Nashville Predators who are not playing good hockey right now. They're, they were playing in a back-to-back. -back. We cashed a big ticket on the over in that game. But now it's the second game back at home after that long extended road trip. Philadelphia is playing some scrappy hockey right now. They're playing shockingly good defensively. Games, they're giving up a ton of goals. Honestly, I don't usually say this. They're kind of because of their goaltending. If they can get decent goaltending, they're playing well as a team right now. I think we can take the plus one and a half and a minus 115 number and have success tonight going against the Florida Panthers. All right, guys, this is a game I'm excited for. Anybody that knows me, you know I'm excited for this game. The Maple Leafs and the Canadians. Look, this was the first game of the regular season for both of these teams, this matchup, Habs and Leafs. And it was an unbelievable game. It was a very entertaining game. There was all kinds of chances for both teams. However, the game ended one nothing. Montembeau versus Stolarz, game one of the season. Both goes goes guys played extremely, extremely well. Well, since then, the opportunity tonight, we have the Leafs playing second half of back to back after they played at home against Detroit on Friday night. They've been playing some pretty good defensive hockey, but you've got a Habs team that's had the uh, the most goals against in the entire league coming into this game. They're not playing very well defensively right now. They'll always be highly motivated playing against their biggest rival, the Maple Leafs. And when I look at that last meeting between these teams, I think there's no way we're going to see a low-scoring game once again here. This sets up for a really good spot between these two teams. And again, the, the, the Habs always get up for games against the Maple Leafs offensively. I'm just not sure they can contain them defensively. So we'll stick with the over here for both teams and hope that both teams go out there and put on a show. Rangers and Wings. That's the next one here. And of course, I said the Wings played against the Maple Leafs on Friday night. So it's the second half of a back to back for them. They return home after the 3 1 loss. But the biggest key here, guys, is the Rangers will not be happy with what went down the other night. They lost 6 1 to the Buffalo Sabres. They will not be happy with that one. That is very uncharacteristic 
of the New York Rangers, very uncharacteristic of Igor Shosturkin to lose 6-1 like that. So I do think the Rangers bounce back, but I know it's a back-to-back here for the Wings, guys. The play we're going to go with here is the under six with the Rangers and the Wings. I think when, when we see the Rangers play their best and they're off a bad defensive performance, they're going to come back and give us a really good effort in their own end. I see this one being a low-scoring uh, victory for the Rangers, very similar to how the Wings lost last night. We'll see if they'll struggle again on back-to-back nights as far as their offense is concerned. In the next one, we have the Sens and the Bruins going head-to-head here. Uh, a divisional bat, uh, battle here, guys, but also we have the goaltending battle with Swayman, with Allmark, the, the two former uh, you know, goalie tandem with the Boston Bruins. The goalie hug, the bear hug they used to always do. Very, very good friends. They say they're brothers. Uh, now they're on different teams. They're leading different teams. The total's five and a half here. Look, everyone's going to be on the under because of these two goalies going head to head. I think it's too low for the Boston Bruins. I think it's too low for the Ottawa Senators. Give me an Ottawa Senators game with a five and a half total. I'm not buying it. Give me the over five and a half in this game. I do lean towards the Senators as the underdog after dropping two straight games. But I'm telling you guys, everybody you know is going to bet the under in that game because of Swayman and because of Allmark. Does not mean we can't get at least six goals in that contest. All right, guys, if you're enjoying this, these rapid fire picks, if you want me focusing in on more situational stuff, I will. I know some people just want the picks and we kind of want to rattle through things. I also know for the algorithm, it helps if these type of videos are less than 10 minutes and I'm not going on and on for 20, 30 minutes, uh, which I certainly could do if you know me, but we're just trying to get these picks out as fast as we possibly can for you guys. But if you're enjoying, show some love, hit the like button, um, comment. And uh, let me know you're watching. Let me know you appreciate it. Um, And hopefully I can get you guys some winners today. And that promo code again, Puck7, seven seven days for $49, $7 a day. It's a great, great deal over at Wager Talk. All right. Uh, Next one, Washington Blues. I don't have a lot in this one. I'll I'll give you guys two names. Connor McMichael, Alexander Ovechkin. McMichael point, Alexander Ovechkin goal. Uh, Ovi didn't score in his last game on Friday night against Pittsburgh. McMichael was a little bit quieter. Look for those guys to bounce back in the in St. Louis after they were upset against Pittsburgh. New Jersey and New, uh, New York Islanders. Uh, look, to, to me, the home team, the New York Islanders, they know how they play. They know how they stand a chance in this game. Give me the under six in this one. The fact you're giving me a six with this Islanders team at home, they're going to control the pace. They're going to be the team that gets the last change. They know if they try and trade goals against this Devils team, they will struggle in a big way. So uh, I think that it, for me, the Devils off that big win over the Canadians, um, not a big win standings wise, but they played really well and scored five goals on them. I think we'll see a defensive battle between these two teams tonight. Give me the under six in the battle of New York. Utah, Nashville, guys, this is my last swing here with this Nashville Predators team. They finally should be rested. They finally should be good to go. And they're playing a Utah team that's been very, very up and down defensively. Team total up and over three and a half for the Nashville Predators. That will be a client play at plus 105. You guys can lock that in with the Predators over at the Utah Hockey Club. Carolina and the Avalanche. You're going to give me Colorado at home plus 105. Sign me up. Colorado, you know, they've been playing a lot better. You know, they had some kind of up and down spots to start the season off, dealt with some injuries. They're getting healthier. They're playing better hockey. They're finally getting some cohesion, some consistency in the lineup. Carolina's playing well, but this is a pretty good flat spot for them, uh, I think. And they're going to probably realize they should not be the favorite in this game tonight on the road. Give me the Avalanche plus 105. Jackets, Kings. Look, things aren't going to get better for the Jackets in this one after a low-scoring loss uh, just a few days ago um, to the San Jose Sharks. The Kings are off a 4-2 loss against the Canucks. Give me The Kings in regulation, minus 130. And last but not least, the Oilers will not be happy with how they blew their game against the Vegas Golden Knights a handful of days ago. They controlled that game. That game belonged to them. It was their game through and through, and they completely blew it. They're going to be locked in, focused. we got a Canadian battle tonight in West Coast, Canucks versus the Oilers, and give me the Oilers to get the job done at a minus 115 price. Wow. Under 10 minutes every single game and uh, all of my best bets and my favorite picks out of this card that I gave you guys, maybe a couple other ones I left off will be up and available at wagertalk.com. And again, puck seven, seven days of NHL for $49. Make sure you guys use that. Uh, But for now, wishing you guys all a great weekend in the NHL 
NBA, college football, college basketball, NBA, what, or NFL, whatever you're betting. Hope you guys have a ton of luck go your way, a ton of success, and hope you guys can join me on my NHL plays this weekend as well. Take care. All the best. We'll see you on Monday.